Well met, I'm Mint, and today I'm back with another video about Renaissance festivals. And today I'm... My video just stopped and deleted itself, so I have no idea what I have and what I don't have, so I'm just gonna take it from the top. Well met, I'm Mint, welcome to my channel, and Today I'm going to make a little follow-up video to the last one I made talking about why you should go to a Renaissance Festival. And today I want to share why I think you should join a Renaissance Festival and get involved in one. I'm just going to take a moment to just like... Mwah. The long tails on these wings literally make it kind of hard to move around. I am just sitting um, at a desk and it's a little unwieldy. Golly, there's so so incredibly gorgeous. Can you believe these? Can you believe them? Wow! I made a video about my top reasons for going to a Renaissance Festival, and today I want to talk about top 10 reasons to join your local Renaissance Festival and why it is so rewarding and fulfilling, and you should check it out. So we'll go ahead and I'll go um, jump right in. So the first reason why I would recommend joining a Renaissance Festival is gonna sound ridiculously obvious if you watched my last video. Um, number one reason to join a Renaissance Festival is that you love going to them. I was a patron at Renaissance Festivals for years before I ever had like a vehicle rely enough, a vehicle reliable enough to go to rehearsals or a schedule open enough to commit to auditioning and things like that. This is kind of the topic of video. Um, it's a little bit self-indulgent, I guess. It's me talking about what I like doing and how it relates to me, but I want to share it anyway. <laughs> God, I don't know why. It's going to be really cyclical too. a lot of these reasons tie to each other and tie to other reasons similar to my last video. I have stuff to say, I promise. I'll, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll expedite this. Number two reason to join a Renaissance Festival. This is a total cop out, because I used it in my last one too. Join a Renaissance Festival if you like to be outside, because we are spending time outside at these things. Um, <laughs> and I mean that honorific. Spending time outside is a good thing. I do love to be outdoors. You should know that you don't have to be an actor. Um, I'm coming at it from the capacity of I'm a character performer, but you can be an artisan or a booth worker or vend food or take care of petting zoo animals or joust horses. You can be a face painter or a freelancer or there's literally so many opportunities um, to be a part of the environment and the experience and the action. You should join a Renaissance Festival if you are mega creative and have skills to share because you get to use them and people compliment you all day. No, that's, I'm not gonna leave that, I'm not gonna leave that in. I, I joined a Renaissance Festival knowing that I loved making costumes and that was my number one relevant experience. You should join a Renaissance Festival if you like the idea of being creatively challenged because you don't have to stick with doing one thing at a Renaissance Festival, there's making costumes, there's also making up jokes or performing or the dance and movement aspect of it. I am also creatively challenged when I have opportunities to do things like decorate the fairy forest where I perform or be a part of a stage show or make up a bit with another character. There are so many ways to get out of your comfort zone. A great reason to join the Renaissance Festival is if you already have a character that you want to try out and talk about to strangers. And I feel like this especially applies if you're not necessarily a cast member, but if you are a wax roses maker or a petting zoo helper, make up a character for that. Who are you? What are you doing here? Because that's gonna build a community with the story within a story of the day at the festival and how people meet you and how you interact with them. And I think like, I. It's fun to make up characters. Y'all play D&D, right? <laughs> but I also want to say, you should join a Renaissance Festival if you're afraid of getting out of your comfort zone. 
Um, at first I thought that when you're doing improvised acting, you have to be really fast and really funny. And it turns out, not necessarily. If you want to join a Renaissance festival and you're nervous about that, I'm going to tell you, it is enough to be kind and it is enough to be helpful and it is enough to elevate whatever guest that you are interacting with day in some way. And that in and of itself is a reason to join a Renaissance festival. This is a book about how to perform at Renaissance festivals. It's written by Anne Elizabeth Shapira, an entertainment director for Bristol Fair. And I want to just read a little passage from this book that has always really stuck with me and was memorable to me and the way I interact with fair. Even if we cannot do amazing, accurate, original pronunciation dialects or build era perfect clothing or create an exact replica of life and pageantry and nobility in a Shakespeare era city, we can do this one little thing. We can create a destination to which patrons can escape where they will experience kindness. That is so meaningful to what I do and why I love this. When we're interacting, we get to elevate the guests and include them in our celebration because we're, it's a festival. We're all here to celebrate. When I can elevate a patron and see the way uh, interacting has affected them, it really does just make me feel all sparkly inside. And that is such a reason why I keep doing this. Next reason to join the Renaissance Festival. You get to learn all of the cute, fun singing songs and dancey dances. And I think it's so cool to know how to do things like the maypole or the karabushka and just have that knowledge. Or sometimes I like to sing um, the songs and shanties just when I'm like on a camping trip with my friends. I genuinely love that. And I guess that kind of ties back in with being creatively challenged and learning new things but it's meaningful in this aspect too. Um, in a moment of vulnerability, I'm gonna say that when I joined festival, I was really, really at a point in my life where I needed to find a little bit more creativity and be around people who valued creativity more. And I'm so glad that I made that change because it has had such a positive effect on me. The sense of community and the friendships you make are life-changing and amazing and now that i've said um how how life-changing and positive and affirming and incredible being a part of the community of the people that i've met through the renaissance festival is this is gonna sound so cheap um the last thing i, I don't know why i did this to myself when i wrote notes i wrote notes for this and the last thing that i put in my notes after that big like lifelong making friends build a creative community the last thing i put in my notes was honest to god some vendors have participant discounts depending on their generosity and grace they are incredible and i am so grateful <laughs> you can buy um a mug for two dollars less you can also make life-changing friendships <laughs> Anyways, this video, I know it was shorter than my last one and I don't particularly care because it was honestly pretty self-indulgent too. But I want to say that I appreciate you for choosing to watch it and listen to me ramble anyway. Thank you for watching my channel. Uh, give me ideas for the next thing to talk about Renaissance Festival wise. I would love to hear that. If you want to support what I do creatively, the best way to do so is to check out my Kofi. This one's for you, right? Contribute to my Kofi to buy me a cup of mint tea. That was just as embarrassing to say out loud as I thought it was. I don't know. I don't, I'm really bad at calls to action and I honestly don't care because I know that I'm making these videos by me for me. <laughs> Thanks for listening. And a little tap till next time. Oh, honestly. Reason number one, join a... Wow.